But we begin this evening with a man facing a judge in the sexual assault and death of a former Ann Arbor police watchdog and community leader. Thank you for joining us at 6 tonight. I'm Glenda Lewis. And I'm Mike Duffy. A magistrate tried to arraign the suspect over the weekend, but he refused to cooperate with deputies. They tried again today. 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell was at court and spoke to Ann Arbor police who say this isn't the first run in he's had with the law. Right now, numerous loved ones are here gathered at the home of Jude Walton in Ann Arbor, grieving a terrible loss. They tell me as far as they know, she did not know the man who is now in jail without bond, accused of violently taking her life. This is video of 54 year old Ricky Dwayne McCain being arraigned, but it's not the first attempt. Law enforcement tells me over the weekend he refused to cooperate. They had plans to take a tablet to his jail cell to arraign him virtually, but he decided to appear to hear prosecutors describe what he allegedly did. The victim in this case died of strangulation. There were ligature marks on her neck, bruising on her inner thighs. There's forced entry in her home. I was shocked and I realized that this is the way I walk to the Y several times a week, so it was a little bit scary. It is a violent attack that put neighbors who live near the home in the 200 block of Chapin on edge and hit home for police who say they respected the victim for her work as a police watchdog. She was a pillar in the community and her outreach efforts did not go unnoticed by this police department. Ann Arbor Police Chief Amy Metzer says his victim is 51 year old Jude Walton, a former commissioner of the Independent Community Oversight Commission and an advocate for the homeless through her work at Avalon Housing. Her co-workers and neighbors realized something was wrong when she didn't show up for work on Thursday and found evidence someone broke into her house. Police say surveillance video showed McCain going into her home shortly after midnight and police recognized him. Officers had dealt with him the day before and so they were familiar with the person once we once we were able to look at surveillance video. Bond is denied based on the court rules. During the hearing, the man who has a lengthy criminal history and according to Michigan Department of Corrections records was in prison as soon as August of last year had one thing to say. What do you want to do? Talk to my attorney. People who live in this neighborhood tell me that they are feeling relief, knowing that police were able to arrest someone right away, and hopefully they say the right person is in jail and the community is safe. In Ann Arbor, Kim Russell, 7 Action News. That is at least some relief tonight. Thank you, Kim.